Hey, I'm recording this video to show how you can get some pretty nice content for your website using two pieces of software. So <clears throat> you do have to pay, and but, but you, it, it's not like you have to pay $10 an article and you need 10 articles so you pay someone $100. And you do have to pay. And I'm not saying that it's free or necessarily even cheap, although you may be able to find cheap alternatives. But I use this for getting some nice articles for websites that will actually be read. Now, Perfect Content is also a, um, a software that will get you mass content for mass pages. And there's another way to run that for that uh, reason. So. I created this folder. It's empty right now. And I'll show you when and how we use it. <clears throat> By the way, this is me when I was three years old. Apparently, I used to suck my thumb. Aww. So here's perfect content. You open it up. And if you're doing mass pages, uh, you do have to use keyboard controls, by the way. You can't right click. And, and um, anyway. Um, if you're doing mass pages, then you do this, um, a broad keyword, and actually several broad, broad keywords, um, something like that. And But, excuse me, I need to cough. But for the case of perfect content, I'm sorry, for the case of readable, not readable, they're all readable actually. For the case of um, your own website um, that you want to post articles to, uh, do a little more specific keywords. And so this is what I came up with. Uh, history of hairbrushes, um, a lot of them you can do like how to or um, types of, um, but <clears throat> just for brevity's sake I choose chose that and I believe from my previous run it actually didn't use this so uh, or found no keywords for this and so um, but this kind of demonstrates that sometimes you know like I said it's not all gold so then options I think there was geo targeted stuff in here and I just erase that. Negative keywords. I use this. I've been using this for like five or six years now. Anything where that allows you to put in a negative keyword. <laughs> Free, cheap, and Walmart are my three go-tos. All right, so I start. And I will let this run. And I'll be back. Actually, that didn't take very much time at all. So. You could save those if you like those keywords, but there's there's like nothing earth shaking there. So I'm just going to click OK. And the software is going to start collecting content based on for it's going to start collecting content based on the first set of keywords. All right. So then the next thing you're going to see is loaded 39 articles and you can click OK. Now this is the second set of keywords already popped up. It's ready to go. And um, it's that is most expensive hairbrushes. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Come on. <clears throat> and so I'm just going to say there's a lot of duplicates, and a lot of times I will delete the duplicates. Well, you know. Um, well, not to take up your time, so I'm just going to click OK. Uh, it, so here's just showing that you can delete um, duplicates here if you want. And I'm not sure about the total inner workings of the software, so the developer might have, you know, something to say about that. But for our purposes, this works for me, and so we'll just um, go with it for now. And here, I'll show you what this is. <clears throat> if I said at all, it says can't select more than 30 articles. So basically you can select some of these 
and I'm hitting shift and hitting the, the uh, selection I can do add and shift and selection and add and I think I'm able to go ahead and add the last little bit nope still can't select more than 30 that's fine it's all history of hairbrushes anyway if you double click on this it um, this is for the mass page builder it mis mis mish mashes the <laughs> um, articles together into these readable articles but we don't want that if I clicked finish it would say spin 26 articles and I'll say no to that also because we are going to use spin rewriter and I have my um, um, spin rewriter API in this software but I don't want it to do that so I X out of it and I go to spin rewriter which I hope is right here alright so I'm pause while I just go back to the beginning here alright so the beginning is rewrite your articles what you're gonna do is rewrite multiple articles you're gonna upload a zip file and you're gonna get this zip file from that was another example I did on my last video which by the way and you can thank me later was a whopping 50 minutes worth <laughs> five zero <laughs> so um, here's where I put it actually I made the um, that folder brushes but um, it but I selected the wrong folder to put it in it doesn't matter it's it's right here and so it's in the folder called hairbrushes and that was the first set of keywords you go to sentences and here are all the sentences <clears throat> this is sentences all the sentences in all of these articles put together in one file as you can see it's 513 kilobytes so you can ignore that for now that's for the mass page builder but what I do is I um, sort it by size in ascending order and I normally um, delete well I definitely delete anything that's zero kilobytes and I've had that and anything that's one kilobyte and I've had that and that that's actually qu quite common it's uncommon to see no uh, one kilobyte articles but that's fine and um, yeah this doesn't sound relevant and so what I do is I I actually want to keep that one even though it's shorter and I'll show you how short it is um, copy open a word article I mean a word file and it's 233 words you don't necessarily want an article that's 233 words but I'll show you how you fill it out uh, or flesh it out I should say and actually I don't want to X out of that just yet I want to X out of this one and so I want to keep that but I don't want to keep that uh, that's no sense makes no sense Oop. all right so um, yeah archaeology yeah that would be nice information just some history and some history there so ba I'll tell you what I'm looking for basically I'm looking for anything that looks like a sales page anything that uh, has dollar sign a price I mean and a um, a shopping website like Safari.com um, <laughs> anything that says advertisement anyway this is not relevant or we don't want it in our article we don't want to sell other people's stuff just our own well you know what we mean what you mean what I mean <laughs> uh, how to clean yeah that's a nice uh, one and this is I think about art brushes not hair brushes unfortunately but that would be an interesting article to read if you're a reader like I am um, 
this is also for art, not necessarily hair. Okay. And this is Mason, Mason Pearson hair brushes. We'll leave that because that is a famous one. Um, uh, that's some useful information. The quiet symbolism of the hairbrush. Anything political, I would kind of just quietly delete there. Oop. Uh, delete there. And I, you see this one page over here, that's, you know, we're just going to continue on and I'll show you it later. Um, Uh, it's facial cream and what this person, particular person, is eating. I try to avoid first person also. So um, now we're going to go on to this. As you can see, it's blank and there's nothing found, so that's fine. Um, I I knew that kind of going in, and it was a very esoteric keyword. So you don't want broad, and you don't want esoteric. You want kind of specific, but something that'll bring back a lot of information. So this is from, I believe, from the most expensive hairbrushes, but we'll see. We'll look at the titles when I click OK. I will say OK. And now this is History of Old Hairbrushes. Where did I get that keyword from? Yeah, boy, it went through and found a bunch more, didn't it? Hmm. All right, I'm just going to take a selection because it doesn't matter, I believe. Let me look. Normally, I go through this process and I look and I look, you know, I browse and I, but this is for the mass page builder, so you don't necessarily need that. And if I click finish, I don't need to spin either. So basically, um, you don't have to, I mean, when it comes up with this page, you just X out of it and or maybe not I wonder what this is all about <clears throat> or maybe not I've never had this happen so maybe I tried doing that and it didn't work so I will X out of it there and I don't think the software is finished but I'll keep moving on this and showing you what I did here so um, I cut out all the one kilobyte and most of the two kilobyte articles. I went through just briefly and I looked for anything dollar sign, anything that looked like it was off a shopping uh, website. Um, I wanted information and I wanted inf interesting information. So then I make I create a new folder in here and I can just name it that because what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move I don't want to move actually, I want to copy and paste so that I have those original articles still although I could unzip it, I mean it's not that big a deal alright, so then I want to zip this up I want to zip it and there it is, then I go to Spin Rewriter and when you click rewrite multiple articles upload a zip file that's where this comes into play and not that one this one brushes the zip brushes file brushes dot zip and it can contain up to 10 articles now when you um, um, curate like that or cull or you know delete a bunch of articles you're going to end up with a f just a few or a lot fewer but of the good ones and just make sure that it's less than 10 though and just want to point that out so that's what that was all about now these are settings I use um, I do use that and I do use that And I 
believe I do use that. This one I've had uh, success with, but I, you know, without, but you do have to look it over carefully. And so this is more about speed, and so I would leave that off. Now this setting I use only suggestions that you're really confident about or low risk, and so I, I, I do well with that. I mean, I have absolutely no problem with it at all. And I can do multi-level nested spinning. So, um, and then here I put in um, hairbrushes. So that my keywords are protected. And then also anything that's capitalized, I don't want spun. So I have my settings all set and I start and I'm going to let this run and I'll be right back. All right, while that's finishing, um, I know that there's a lot of people that have a problem with quote unquote copying other people's stuff and stuff. But do you remember when in uh, high school or college when you're doing a term paper? and you go down to the stacks and you pull out your eight or 35 books and and you sit there and you go through the index and you make notes sometimes you even uh, go take it to the Xerox machine and Xerox it and uh, your page so you can take it home and uh, make your notes and then you rewrite it basically you rewrite everything you wrote I remember in I wrote a paper on <coughs> Solon and Cleisthenes, and they were two Athenian um, uh, ancient guys, <laughs> and so I did not know anything about them. I went to the library and I gathered information, and I sat and um, rewrote that information, added a few of my own thoughts, and um, got an A minus on that. So. This is uh, basically doing that, except you're helping um, software, or I mean, you're being helped with software, and uh, the software is um, perfect content and spin rewriter. And whether that is more virtuous than going to the library, pulling out books, which you know books are outdated as soon as they're printed, um, and this is actually pulling uh, relevant uh, current information. But it, is that less virtuous than getting it out of a book and rewriting it? And is rewriting by hand less virtuous or more virtuous than uh, letting a piece of software rewrite it? I mean, uh, my answer is no. So, <laughs> and I'll show you um, an example of, of one of the ones that I did later. Now, let's see if this is I wish it would tell me what this is about because <laughs> I think this was the was back to darn it shoes <sighs> all right so uh, here we go I know this is about hair brushes we'll just pick that um, these are the settings I use. I don't use that one. I don't use that one. I do say yeah, reorder or whenever possible. And then I say generate a unique version. <coughs> and that's 85% unique. Let's see if I can get more than 85. I keep, keep um, clicking generate the unique version. 87. That's not too bad. 84, 84, 84, 83. 88. Ooh, I better keep that 88% unique. You know what? It really doesn't matter. It's just, you know, 1%, 2%. Uh, but I'm just showing you that, uh, you know, if you're concerned about that. Now, that's only 209 words, but I deliberately picked uh, a smaller one because, and actually, I didn't see this Etsy thing down here, so I'd have to, um, um, I'll keep her name since you know she put all that information there. This wasn't one of the ones that I wanted to keep, but anyway, regardless, um, 
so this is a short article, 209 words. So what you can do is fetch a relevant video. And what was the keyword on this? Gorgeous paintings, painting hairbrushes. Let's see if there's a, an esoteric keyword like that. Not really. Human hair paint, not really. <laughs> uh, decorated hairbrushes. Aww. DIY style your hairbrush. There we go. We'll just to pick those two. Rainbow glitter? No. And be sure and put two down here because even if you pick two up here and don't click two down here, you're going to, um, uh, for this particular article, you'll only, you won't get enough videos if you don't click to. And so since they both end up together down here, I replace up here, wherever. <clears throat> and then, so now you've got two videos. And now let's see if it'll give you, give us a relevant image. Decorated hairbrush. Yeah, I haven't had real luck with the images here. However, paintbrush. <laughs> paintbrush. Hair woman barber supplies. Mm, not really. And so what I would do in this case would be to go to, and I thought I had an example, so let me go back to it. So this is a Mason something hairbrush, Mason Pearson. And uh, so I would save that. I actually have saved it from my, when I was doing this video previously, and that was 50 minutes long, five, zero. So <laughs> you can thank me later that I redid this. Anyway, there's a actual picture of an actual hairbrush and a spin rewriter and um, to me has not or pixabay doesn't really give me good images sometimes though it can surprise you anyway so um, you can save this or here's just what I do um, I just copy it and I um, go to WordPress or wherever and I insert that image uh, I'm sorry, that uh, article, uh, HTML, uh, if you have the option of picking the HTML rather than uh, the visual, um, then you go to the HTML because you are embedding those videos and you um, uh, paste that article. And so here's an example of one that I had done. Um, let me pause while I put it up so you don't have to wait. Um, so this was a fairly short article. And I added two videos. I added this myself because ugh, why? Uh, darn it! I have to avoid highlighting. Um, I added this myself, and I was talking about this quilt, which is absolutely gorgeous. I like quilts. And I added another video, and so it was a very short article. So let me see if I can. Nope, I sure can't. Um, yeah, stop it. I'll copy that and put it into Word and show you that it was only 95 words. But, um, you know, it's, it's entertaining. It's something to uh, look at. It's something to learn. You're going to spend some time looking at this video two minutes and this video uh, six minutes and um, it, with a 95 word article I mean no big deal and the same with this um, 90 uh, or I mean uh, Native American quilts article that one's a little bit longer so that's good but the same uh, thing applies it becomes you know just a gorgeous um, article especially if someone's in, interested in quilts and then of course um, 
in this particular one I can add um, you know uh, example of a quilt to buy that might be similar to something like this you know you take a little time to to find something that if they're reading the article they may want to buy that type of quilt you never know so uh, alright so I'm you know on and on and on there and where was I spin rewriter oh yeah so copy that and paste it in and I believe that's it so I'm gonna pause and and let my uh, wheels turn a little bit and see if I need to say anything more so I had to um, go add credits to Copyscape because the 200 credits that I had in there apparently they took away when they went to another form of of um, paying. So <laughs> and then and so I'm going to gripe a little bit here. Uh, you can pay five dollars worth of credits or ten dollars, and if you want to pay by PayPal, you have to choose ten dollars. So I I chose five dollars. I brought out a credit card, declined. I bought another credit card, declined, and I was like, okay, I see what you're getting. And by the way, both of those credit cards were good, so let's get that straight from the beginning. But they decline every credit card until you <laughs> then go pay by PayPal and you buy twice as much as you need. I see their little scam going on. If anyone knows the people at Copyscape, mention to them that I am on to them. As <laughs> and so I took my... Um, Native American quilts article and I put it into Copyscape and um, there were four results but all four of them were uh, on Pinterest and so um, it says the page seems to have re recently moved some content uh, three words matching one percent of the text so 99 percent unique I guess and the next one was the same uh, that was also on Pinterest. It has no words matching the text. 100% unique. It has 12 words matching 2% of the text. 98%. Well, oops, couldn't find it. Well, that's good. So, what were they talking about? Compare text on this one. And they couldn't find that either has no matching w words matching because it's not a page so anyway um, pretty pretty darned unique 98 99 percent in spite of what they say about four results found for the text you pasted um, and anyway that's copyscape put them away oh by the way they charge um, a nickel per search now so um, it's got seems to have gotten well, starting at three cents per search. Hmm. Well, they're charging me a nickel because I had ten dollars just a few minutes ago, and I did two searches, and it's nine dollars and ninety cents. The other one was for, I believe, this article. And um, all right, I'll just show you the result. It was not as good as the quilts one, but it wasn't bad either, and I'm pretty happy with it. Well, no, I X'd out of, um, anyway, it came up with, I believe, 76% unique, you know, I mean, I'm not going to quibble over that. I could rewrite it if I really wanted to and, and, um, bring that number up, but, you know, we're using other people's research and researching our own. We're letting software do it, and that's pretty much all I have to say on that. And so I will stop here and hopefully perfect content and doing just a little bit of manipulation. I was going to do a whole run through and show how um, um, little time it actually took to once you know you've got your a process down and you know you're not making an explainer video with it but in this particular case one two three four five six seven articles um, and probably I could do that in less than half an hour but let's just say half an hour and if I post one article a week or even one article or two articles a week um, you know that's a month to two months of articles in half an hour and um, and they're nice articles they're uh, informative they're interesting uh, and you make sure they're interesting and you can add your own thoughts to it and um, like I did on this uh, that quilt one 
and um, I mean I know that's not saying a lot but uh, but still that's mine and I I said that sincerely and I believe it because it is beautiful um, so uh, I mean um, but it, you know you don't have to slave over it and spend hours and hours you know I mean let software take care of the uh, of the grunt work here and you come along uh, and um, brush it up fluff it up a little and make it your own and you've got stuff for your blog all right so I'm gonna start yammering and I hope you found this informative bye bye